student at the Homo sapiens species of Africa, but today we are following a group that migrated to southern Europe, which is modern day Spain and France, approximately 35,000 years ago. African peoples were thought to begin somewhere in Ethiopia. They possibly moved north and spread through Aral and around Africa. Eventually, they came to Arabia. They came this way over thousands of years of migration, looking for larger amounts of food. Eventually, they began to move across Europe and started to get into France and Spain, in which case they were able to get more food and able to reproduce more often. During this journey, they began to create stone tools and shoddily built sh shelters. During this move, they scavenged meat and killed many different animals and used, probably used fire, as well as stone tools that they created very quickly. They hunted in groups and usually they decided to gather up and kill animals in large groups. This, these herds were known as probably the earliest groups of humans in history. They moved into caves and along the waterfront in Europe. They were pretty nice. Along the way, they would usually eat most kinds of wild game, vegetables, berries, fruits, nuts, marine food and wildlife. And sometimes, if they were lucky, they could get wild pigs and bison, which was really nice. Along the way, they altered their environment using fire, which was extremely good for gathering various different types of berries that grew seasonally or grasses. Most tools that were made contained large amounts of stone and eventually sh shafts made of either bone or wood. Here is a clip of me making a spearhead. Now, as early humans, we were quite different from our hominin counterparts. We had better communication, we could eat fruit and nuts, we used fire a lot more often, we had clothes, and we knew what art was, which was very, very cool. We had several predators when we started out with, so we had to kill those people, or more like saber-toothed cats and hyenas before we could move around and start getting bigger game. This in turn shaped the environment and made it a lot safer for us to be living today.